Hi, welcome back. This is the level I played for the trader. And uh, while playing it, I thought it might be interesting to go over it, because it's actually not a trivial level to solve. There's quite some thinking required, um, which is nice, I really enjoyed it. Mm. It's uh, probably worth pointing out that this is a level the random generator just threw at me. I just picked one of them, which seemed, seemed to be fun, and went with it, and it turned out really well. Um, yes, so let's get started. First, uh, for the first step, take a look at the top left. Here, there are two nodes with component information, one saying it's in a component of size 14, so it's missing 13 more, and the other saying it's in a component of size 11, so it's missing 10 more. So, since they have different component sizes and the edges between them are undirected, we cannot connect them. Now, um, the next step is already more interesting we're going to use this 6 up here. So this 6 has two circles around it, meaning that uh, among all nodes which are reachable from this node within at most two steps, exactly 6 are part of the pattern. Now clicking it reveals which nodes these are, and they are marked in yellow right now. And if we do the counting, there are actually 7 of them, and 6 of them are in, so there's just one which is not in. We can disable one. So, um, we can first ask what, what happens if we put five nodes up here, so five pattern nodes up here, so the missing one, uh, the, the non-pattern node is one of these two. Then we'd again connect the 13 and the 10, so these two nodes have to be in, because the one node that is not a pattern node among these has to be something that disconnects this component from this component. Now, um, to the right now, we have again here a component of size 14 and here one of uh, size 11. So this one has to be a non-pattern node, which then fully determines this node and this node. Now, um, the next thing I'd like to look, up is, uh, look at is this 13 down here, so a component of size 14. Um, so, uh, where do we get 13 other nodes? Well, we can try going to the left. So we'd go here and here, that's two, but we cannot go here or here, because these two components are too small, and if we'd connect them, uh, this is component size 14, this is component size 11, well, that wouldn't work. So we can only take, say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down here, and then we'd have to go up here. And since we cannot go to the left, we have to go up. So, um, this is what we are going to do. Which also means that this one is not in. Now, the next point to look at is probably this node up here. It says um, that within two steps, we can reach two more pattern nodes, exactly two more, and the pattern nodes within the marked area, they're actually all connected, and connected within that radius. So, uh, we can use two more to connect them. So, obviously, we have to take this one. Because we have to connect this one to the left, to this group down here. So, and now we have just one more, uh, which we'll have to use to connect this one to the right, to this group, and Using only one, we can of course only go down here, because going up here would require three, but we only have one left. Which also means that all of them are out. Now this is easy, get one here. Okay, um, now we know that there are two violet nodes, exactly two, and this group still needs four more nodes. We could assume, conservatively, that it really gets two down here, and, well, could it get any more than two? No, it couldn't, because there are two violet ones, and assuming they are here, we could expand to the left, but then we'd connect to this smaller group and this group, and we already ruled that out. So we need two more, and they cannot be down here, so they have to be up here. 
Now for the next step, uh, I'd like to take a look at the total number of notes that is left. So this number down here is saying that there are 20 unrevealed notes left. So all of these. And then this number says that of the 20 unrevealed notes left, exactly 9 are pattern notes. And uh, where are the pattern notes? Well, we have 7 here to the left. And 2 here. And 7 plus 2 is 9. So all the pattern notes which are left are either here or here. But certainly not here. So all of these are actually out. And similarly we can look at uh, this. So all the green notes which are now marked in yellow. Um, there are six pattern notes. And there are two up here. Six plus two is eight. Which means we are still missing one pattern note. And there is only one note which is unknown and not marked. So, we have one here. That was helpful. Okay. Now, uh, we have to be a bit more careful. So, um, take a look at this. This says that among the red notes, among the mar notes marked in red, there are exactly two more pattern notes. And uh, this one says that among the notes marked in yellow, there is exactly one. So of the two, exactly one is here. Now, uh, where's the other one? Well, it could be either of these three, or it could be this one to the right. Assume it is this one to the right, then it's neither of these. Which means that this 10 is completely isolated. But a 10 cannot be completely isolated because it has to connect to 10 more nodes. So it cannot be this one. Which is actually helpful information later down the line. Similarly, um, assume that we take this node down here. Because we, we, we know that it's exactly one of these. And if we take this one down here, we know that, it's n that it is neither of these two. But if these two are non-pattern nodes, then this 10 can at most gain one, two nodes. So it's not this one either. Ha, huh, that's interesting. So it says there are two which are connected in this area. So we could either take these three, or we could take these three. But could we really take these three? No, we can't, because we just saw that because of this constraint, only one of them is in. And uh, since these nodes have to be connected, mm, we cannot take these two either, so we have to take these. And I'll put this out. This yields that one, and uh, now they have the same information as this one. Okay, um... Oh, this red one doesn't really carry any information either. But we can use uh, the blue ones to uh, see that there's three blue nodes left and two of them are up here. Because of this constraint or this constraint, really doesn't matter in this case. So um, the third one must be here. And now this group is missing exactly one more node, which means it has to be this one and this is out and this is in. We can disable all of this information because we don't need it anymore. This too, this too, this too. We can actually disable the color on the board because at this stage is it is just distracting. We don't need it anymore because we know there are only two nodes left and all remaining nodes are violet. So it's not really any kind of new information saying that all the violet nodes, there are exactly two um, two pattern notes, so we can just disable it. Now, uh, we need one more node for this component, and uh, so this has to be either here or here. And uh, then we need one more node here. So we know that the nodes which are left, of them there's one here, and one here. And since there are only two left in total, we know that there's none here. Okay, uh, this tells us that there's one among the two yellow nodes, and if there's exactly one, then since there are only there's only one in this group as well, this one isn't in. Oh, and this solves this. Now we can disable this, which now again gives us new information, and that there's one here and 
now we're done. Yeah, so that's the level. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you can buy Paterna now on itch.io and you can download the demo which will teach you the ropes. There's a tutorial included and I think there are three more difficult levels in the demo. I'll link to it into the, uh, in the description. Have fun playing the game and see you then.